What did it cost? everything in the back. Our names are Mike and Heather. We spent the summer converting our Ford Transit Connect into a camper van with the ultimate goal of traveling to all 50 states. We have already been on one epic road trip and now that our van has been finished, we're ready to set out on another. Subscribe and join us as we explore the US and try to figure out this whole van life thing. As always, thanks for watching. So good morning from a Cracker Barrel right below Poughkeepsie. We're in Fishkill now with plans to head up to Poughkeepsie. We're really excited to explore this new area because although Mike and I are from New York, we've never been to Poughkeepsie before. So we're gonna hop to the front now and get on our way. So the plan for today is to explore Poughkeepsie and then we're gonna walk over the bridge that's there to go explore the little farmer's market that's happening on the other side today as well. Figured we'd come into town here, maybe park over on this side of the river and then walk our way across to the farmer's market. Oh, you can see the bridge. We just got into the parking lot at the Poughkeepsie Hudson footbridge. There's a lot of people out today, so uh, we're gonna join the crowds and walk across the Hudson. So let's go. And we're now up here. So we've got all the way over to here. So this is on the agenda today, and we're about to take our first steps on the bridge. There's a little bit of a ways to go before we get to the Hudson itself and cross over. We're kind of going over some of the streets leading up to the waterfront, and then we'll go out across the Hudson, get some really great views of the valley, and the trees are starting to change color, so it's already looking beautiful, but we're really excited to get these really big sweeping views. Today's gonna look good with the frame around it. Like a dream come true, so glad we found it. Sunshine through the window pane. Hear music when you speak my name. There's a rhythm of a life here in the moment. So let's own it. So we are coming up to the end of the bridge and we can see the festival is already underway, even though we're about a half hour early. Looks cool. So farmer's market, tons of vendors. It should be really neat to see what's in store for us up there. It's gonna be a good day. Oh, this is huge. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a small farmer's market. Yeah. Well, it said 100 vendors, and I was kind of like walking through just a minute ago. I was kind of like, ah, there, like, there's no way. But this is this is a pretty good setup. Look at this thing. Yeah, I'm. This. That could be you. Yeah, no, thank you. Bye. So we did end up purchasing some bread and some olive oil from two different vendors that we're now going to have a little picnic here at the festival. It's be a good day with you by my side. All we gotta do is wake up. Hey. All we gotta do is wake up now. That's a bottle with the shake up. Hey. Shake it up, pass it all around. So we have left the farmer's market and we're heading back across the bridge to Appa. I think we're gonna try and get a hike in today as well, so we've still got plenty of stuff to do this afternoon. And more snacks. I'm curious as to what's going down on the water. There's a ton of speedboats out there. It's the end of the bridge after watching what we think is the world's first drag race via boats. And now we're going to head on to our next stop. Did you say world's first or world's worst? Does either one work? I guess so. We just made it off of the bridge. Uh, we're back in Appa and we're going to head across the Mid-Hudson Bridge, the one that you can drive over, and we're going over to New Paltz. So there's a like 22 mile long trail. It's like the wall kill railway trail. There's a section of it that has the bridge that was featured in the Quiet Place movie, or the movie A Quiet Place, and we're gonna try and hike out to that point and see the bridge. So that's where we just walked, and now we're going to the left to go over the bridge that you can actually drive cars over. Oh my god, that was like everything. Oh, and the door. I've gotta get all the way over. Another bumper. Probably could from trying to merge onto here. Continue on New York 55 West for two miles. We made it. What did it cost? Everything in the back. <laughs> I feel like every time we try to go over these bridges or merge onto heavy traffic, I lose a year of my life. Um, I get 10 gray hairs, my neck starts to hurt. What I'm trying to say is it's very stressful. Look in the back. <laughs> I don't want to. The door came. 
<laughs> we'll figure it out later. Oh, it's a slowdown on the bridge. That's probably why. We made it to the parking lot here in New Paltz. I think it's on Huguenot Street. It's the municipal parking. So um, we were lucky enough to find a space, but it looks pretty full. So yeah, we got the last space actually in the overflow parking lot. So what we're going to do is go from here out onto the trail. I think it's about a 45 minute walk in to where the bridge is and then we'll make our way back. It should be good. I think with the, the leaves changing, it'll be nice and I'm really excited to see the bridge when we get there. We just have to cross this crosswalk and then we're gonna head to the left to be able to get to the bridge. The nice thing is that this used to be an old railroad track and the great thing about railroads is they need a really flat ground, which means that this path is going to be really flat and a nice leisurely stroll through the shaded canopy trees. Cause we are young and nothing's gonna stop us. Nothing can hold us back. We can have our fun. Our fun. Well, I think right ahead we can see the bridge. It looks like there's some people out on it. I think it's pretty popular. The movie was a huge success and so I think a lot of people will come out here. For those of you who have seen the movie, this is where the toy goes off and the little boy gets snatched by the monster thing. It's at the beginning of the movie. It's a bit ironic that we came all the way to the Hudson Valley and are walking across a bridge that was filmed for Quiet Place. And the newest Quiet Place too was actually filmed all around Buffalo and they used the Grand Island Bridge that's like half hour away from our apartment. This is pretty cool though. You had a bubble in face. <laughs> We're leaving the bridge, it is behind us now, and we're gonna head down this very buggy trail at a kind of a brisk pace, cause I don't know if you can see all my new bug bites. That there are I'm... so many bugs. Yeah, so we're gonna go bathe ourselves in bug spray when we get back to the van. Yeah. But yeah, so we're heading back away from the bridge. I think there's actually a way that you can pop off of this trail and onto the sidewalk, which honestly we might do because we weren't smart enough to bring bug spray with us. It was actually kind of busy, and this trail definitely seems like there's a lot of use. People running, people walking, people biking, and everyone is kind of hanging out on the bridge. All right, so we made it to the trail entrance that we came in, which means that we're almost back to the van. So we're making our way to the nearest Cracker Barrel now, and I think this is where we're going to leave you. So we'll see you tomorrow in Saratoga Springs. Come and get it like I